Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is how to play Fortnite. Okay, so um, I know it's gonna be a little bit of a different tutorial if you've never seen me before. Welcome to my channel, and thanks for clicking on the, the thing and coming over here and seeing me, because this is different, okay? Um, I'm gonna break it down like this. I'm gonna go play some solo, but while I'm playing some solo, I'm gonna explain why I'm level 70 and why I've gotten up to this point with only playing with portions at a time every single day. Okay, so you play Fortnite, great. You, your friends play Fortnite, awesome. How many of you are going for eliminations to try and get as many kills as you can? Because if you are, you're playing the game wrong. The point of the game is to survive. And the longer you can survive, the more points you will get. And there's tiers as to what you finish at. So like if you finish in the top 25, you get a certain amount of points. If you finish in the top, um, I think it's 10. What's the what's the careers? Oh, I missed it. <clears throat> Anyhow, the point is you need to survive. You need to run away from fights. You need to um, turtle down. You need to survive as long as you can. The longer you survive, the more points you're going to get. If you're going for experience points, this is the way to do it. All right, this is how to play the game. Now. Um, a lot of you are out there thinking, that's not right, Code. That's, 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 you're lying to me. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's do this. Let's do some simple calculations on the top people that play Fortnite. Um, Ninja, all right? Ninja plays this game as a profession. He is on the game every single day. He is practicing every single minute. Like, literally, his job is to wake up, go into Fortnite, play, and win. That's what he does. Um, Aiden, all right, uh, Ghost, Ghost Aiden. Aiden is the top player with the controller, okay? And that's what he does. Literally, he practices and plays every single day. So, in, in the idea of what you're doing, all right, you as the watcher of the video that you're watching right now, to try and get better, if you want to get better, all right, if you want to be one of the top tiers, if you're trying to get to that level, you are going to have to play the game every single day, and you're gonna to have to practice every single minute until it becomes your entire life, okay? No more school, you can't go to school. No more, no more football practice, no more baseball practice, no more hanging out with your friends. This is it. That is how you get to be the top tier. I'm pretty good, okay? Don't get me wrong, I've, I'm pretty good at the game. I will never get to Ninja's level. I promise you, I don't have enough time in my day. I'm, I'm a dad, I've got two kids, I go to work, I, I'm a full-time employee for a company, uh, I have soccer practices I have to go to, I have Girl Scouts that I have to attend, I have to sleep at some point. <laughs> I make YouTube videos. Just with the simple fact that I'm making YouTube videos and I'm not Twitch streaming, all right? That is time consuming, that is, that's, it. Okay. So, as you see what I've just done, my tactic is jump at the very last moment. Like, wait until the bus kicks you out. And then, wait until the center happens. Now, as you can see, right here, here's the center of the circle. Alright. So, I'm just going to find a nice spot to land, and then I'm going to either find a bush to hide in, or I'm going to jump into a tree. Now, because it's over here and these are all pine trees, you can't jump into these trees. If it were over there where the big round trees are, I could jump into one of the round trees and be fine. But, uh, okay, as we can see here, there are some people who are already fighting, building down there. Um, guess what, guys? 50 people already gone. We're down to 49 people. And I haven't even fought yet. I don't have any items, but that's okay. I'm already in the top 50. Um, okay, that looks like a dangerous zone. Uh, dangerous, danger zone! I'm gonna get away from there. I'm gonna come over here. <clears throat> um, it's a little bit further away than I'd like to be from the center of the circle, but that's okay. Actually, is there a bush down there? Is there oh, ooh, there's a bush right there. Oh, and there is a chest. Lucky us. Okay. So if you can find a chest, go grab it. Alright, and there are chests all over the place. You can find them. Get yourself something, okay? And then I'm gonna go find a bush. 
and then I'm going to explain the uh, experience experience rules. Oh, come on, please, please. Is there a bush around here somewhere? Come on. Ah, oh, there's a bush. That's a nice bush. That's a good spot for me to hide. All right. And just so you know, I'm I'm throwing it up. Bush time, right there. I even have my icon. That's it. I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> you know why? Everybody else is still trying to fight. They're still playing by the rules of the game. And the game wants you to play by the rules of the game too. I mean, if you go and look at the challenges, right? Each one of these, it's telling you, hey, you need to go make eliminations. You need to fight here. You need to do this. That's fine. Go do the challenges. Every once in a while, you need to go and complete your challenges, get your eliminations, and that will give you more experience points. But in every day, like, you've got everything done, fighting... Okay. I don't have any way of breaking this down. Your first elimination is 50 points. 50 experience points. Every additional elimination, every additional elimination, no matter how many it is, is 10 points only. That's it. That's all you're going to get. So, say that you eliminate five people, all right? 50 for the first, 60, 70, 80, 90. You got 90 points for one round. Good job. That is nothing compared to if you came in the top 25 or the top 10, okay? Your survival rate is the most experience gaining thing that you can possibly have. So why are you fighting? Why are you going after that top tier of most eliminations? Hide. Stay away from people. If you see a fight going on, don't go towards it. Now, this is also counterintuitive to everything that Fortnite talks about. It's like, it's telling you, you need to purchase the items, and oh, we got sales going on, and you need to do this, and that, and the other. And it wants you to go and eliminate. It's, it's competition. It's competitive. That's what it does. But unless you're a master builder, or you're extremely good at uh, close-up fights, and, and they will snipers, then you're not gonna get experience points very fast. Survive. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm looking around, I'm looking around. I probably shouldn't be looking around. A bush doesn't actually look around. Um, I don't know what the breakdown of points is per tier, but I know that the battle pass tiers will help you immensely. All right, this is going out to the parents out there, parents who have kids that play Fortnite. Kids, if you're playing Fortnite, I'm going to tell you this right now. Get your battle pass one time, okay? If you get your battle pass one time, the battle pass tiers themselves, uh, I don't have any way of showing it. I'll show it to you whenever I, I get eliminated. The battle pass tiers themselves have points. They will give you V-Bucks, 100 V-Bucks here, 50 V-Bucks here. 500 V-Bucks there. And across all of the board, if you don't spend your money, if you don't spend your V-Bucks on anything else, you will have enough V-Bucks to get the next season's battle pass. Okay? So don't spend your V-Bucks. I know it looks amazing. I know that awesome teddy bear emoji that you must have is out there. Don't buy it. All right, I'm telling you right now. Save your V-Bucks. Buy the battle pass one time, Play the battle pass all the way through. Don't spend your V-Bucks, okay? This is also counterintuitive to everything that they've been saying, like that Fortnite says. They say, hey, we have a sale. Hey, it's back from retro, stuff like that. If you can't, like, um, actually here. It shows right here, I've got 1,500 V-Bucks. When I started this season, I had 10. It was left over from whatever I had left from the last season. 10 V-Bucks. I've made 1,400 V-Bucks from this season alone. That is more than enough to cover my next season's battle pass. We got one day. Uh, less than a day. Boom. Okay. Just by sitting here and hiding, I am now on the, 20, the top 25. I know. I know everything about this video, this tutorial, is screaming not tutorial, not real, but I, I promise you, if you follow these tactics, if you, if you play by these tactics, okay, here we go. So I am hiding, but our next move, I'm gonna get forced to move, all right? So instead of waiting for the storm to come, I'm actually going to look around, I'm gonna be very careful, and I'm just going to slide down here like this. Now there's somebody 
up there. Do you see that? They are in that building right there. I've got to figure out a way to get around them and run. Because they're sniping. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Okay. Get out of that zone. We're good. I'm just going to take a look around. By the way, luck has a lot to play with this, okay? Ooh. Oh, one more, one more. Come on, there we go. Snipers are always good whenever you're hiding in bushes. Just saying. Also, if you see somebody snooping around and you think you can take the shot, don't. Taking a shot and, like, not having a guaranteed hit means that, that you, will get dis you will get discovered. They will see you. Oh gosh, there's, there's, no, there's no bushes on the side, is there? Oh gosh. No bushes. No bushes. That's okay. If you're on the run, grab some materials. <laughs> Try and stay under things. If you're if you're gonna gather, gather quickly. And get hidden again. All right. In the mil in the military, they teach you two two things. They teach you cover and concealment. Cover is how much like you're you're exposed. Um, and they they give you percentages like 25, 10, 15, stuff like that. Anyhow, cover is protection. Like ah, uh, over here. Boop, boop. I'm gonna switch over here. Take a quick look around. Did anybody see me? Nobody saw me. I hear somebody. I hear somebody. All right, let's go ahead and adjust while we're hidden. They can't hear this sound. This sound right here. Nobody can hear that sound, so you're good. They can hear this sound. If you're switching back and forth, don't switch back and forth. In fact, I probably shouldn't have done it right there. But now I'm just gonna sit and wait. Guess what? We're down to 15. I'm already in the top 15 players. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get so many experience points for, for doing this. Now, uh, granted, I, I, I will take your, your comments and, and stuff down there in the bottom because I know a lot of you are hating on me right now. That's okay. That's okay. And if you play by this tactic, um, you're going to get a lot of people who are going to say, Well, you're not playing by the thing. Well, actually you are. You're playing exactly the way that you're supposed to. Ooh. Just saw somebody up there. Oh gosh. So now I'm I'm safe. Ooh, did you hear him? Somebody else is over here somewhere. And they just got shot by that guy there. Ooh, careful buddy. It's gonna get you. Um, the other thing that you might be worried about is what about gear code? How do I pick up um, items. Easy. Everybody else is going to be... Everybody else is going to be bringing those items to you. No, 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 no. Cover, cover. Nope. Cover. Somebody's coming up far behind me. Oh gosh. Now this is scary because... Oh, I've got nothing to build with either. I've got nothing to build with and I'm trapped. I'm still in the top ten. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna make a run for it. By the way... Running is not the best option. Give me this, give me this, give me all this. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Hello. We are down to one hit point. But, oh gosh. 
No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. Please, please. Oh, oh man. Oh, we almost got to the top five. But guess what? Seven. I got the top seven rank. Now let's take a look at this. Take a look. Oh gosh. I got 669 total experience points for that. Man, you got no Um, most of that is coming from my battle pass tier because the battle pass tier gives me 365 additional experience points. I got 100 points for the placement. In order for me to get that 100 points, I would have had to have, um, let's see, 7 kills. 50 points for the first one. Um, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 points. So I would have had to have 7, or, sorry, 6 kills. 6 kills to get 100 points. I couldn't have done that. I barely get 2 to 5 kills per game. Alright? And that's, that's, granted, a good game. I could have bad luck, just like in this particular situation. Me, I couldn't get hidden once again. So, um, let's see, how, how long have we been recording? 16 minutes. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's return to the lobby. Same tactic. Hiding, sneaking, running away, and not fighting. That is your tactic. That is, that is the way that you're supposed to play. A lot of people don't play like that because they watch Ninja and they watch, they watch these top tier people, these Twitchers, these streamers, these YouTubers, these people that are, are doing the eliminations. That's okay. That's okay too. That is also a way to play, but it's not going to get you as many experience points. And I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about you, the watcher, the person that's watching me right now, watching the tutorials on how to. Um, keybinds. Make sure you set your keybinds. Keybinds. Key keybinds. Keybinds. Make sure you set your keybinds. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I mean, I think that's all the tactics I can give you. Is stay in the bus as long as you can. Everybody else is going to be jumping like, hey, let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to Shady. Let's go. Let's go to the farm. Let's go. Um, Tilted Tower. Why? I mean, I might be able to eliminate one or two people if I jump immediately, but I can survive and outlive a lot more people if I hide. Oh, don't forget to thank the bus driver. <laughs> oh my goodness, here we go. I'm excited. So I've done enough explaining. Now we're just going to play, um, I think. Better I'm still going to, I'm, I'm going to keep talking. I'm probably going to keep talking through the whole thing. In fact, <clears throat> I'm going to pull this microphone up closer, just like this. And we're gonna sit. And we're gonna wait. Now I know this doesn't make for an exciting video, but this also makes for a learning tutorial video, and it's also done in the same form that I like to do, showing you exactly what's happening. This video is not edited. I don't have time to edit, just like I don't have time to practice Fortnite every single day. But if you do, excellent. Make sure that your homework's done first. Make sure that your your home life. Oh, by the way, if you do need get, to get eliminations, I highly recommend staying on the bus and picking off all the people that don't play or that get disconnected halfway through. Because that happens a lot. Whenever I need to get, make eliminations, I just wait until the end of the bus and then I drop straight down, grab whatever weapon it's requiring, assault rifle, stuff like that. In fact, I think I'm, whoops, I think I'm supposed to be doing assault rifle eliminations. Yeah, I'm supposed to have five assault rifle eliminations, which I will probably do after this video, just by staying in, in the, the bus, dropping down, and then eliminating one, maybe two per round. <clears throat> or if I get really good, I could just, you know, build up, grab assault rifles. You and I both know I'm not that good. <laughs> and circle revealed. Circle is going to be right here. Oh my goodness! Why is it? Why is it over next to the pines? I can't hide in the pines. Oh, oh no! Coffee time. Coffee's gone. It's okay. We got. We have uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry, natural flavors. Mm -hmm. Just something. All right. So again staying in the air might seem chicken 
In fact, people will call you chicken, and they will make fun of you for it. But guess what? We're down to 57 people. I bet that number's going to be below 50 before I even land. Me versus 99 people? Not very good odds. Me versus 50 people? Better odds. I have taken second place so many times. Because I can't fight. But I can hide really well. Okay. We are here. We have arrived. We are down to 49 people. <laughs> so, there's got to be some merit to this. Right? We've already landed in the top 50. Okay, there is a chest right there and a bush right next to it. See? Chest, bush. Chest, bush. Done. Take a quick peek around. Make sure nobody's watching this. Uh, I don't see anybody. Maybe I'm not seeing them. Maybe my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. But here we go. Drop, grab, get, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, by the way, um, if you're looking for some, like materials, be sure to pick up the chest itself. The chest has has. How much should I get there? Has about twenty wood in it. What are you doing, Code? What are you doing? Why are why are you collecting? I'm just collecting for now. I probably should not be collecting right now. In fact, yeah, I'm being crazy. What am I doing? Oh, oh, there's materials. Ooh, grab it. There we go. Get yourself hidden, Code. Hide. Sneaky. Sneaky boy. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Now we sit and we wait. I know. This seems like a very boring video. And if I had time to edit, I would totally time lapse this part. But we don't. And I know. I don't. I don't have time. Wish I had time. But I do have time to sit here for you guys. And just wait. Wait it out. We're just going to sit here and relax. In fact, we will probably see some fights go on. See people running around, trying to pick things up. Oh, by the way, you can also use this tactic while um, while doing homework. Okay, so if you have attention deficit hyper disorder, like myself, um, it takes a little bit of concentration to switch from one task to the next task, but if you've got your laptop or your computer set up and you're sitting in a bush waiting, right, and you go and do the dishes, right, this is what I do for the dishes. I have my laptop set up, I land like this, and then I go and I, I'm doing the dishes, doing the dishes, doing the dishes. And then when I hear the storms, I come back over and I take a look. Am I safe? Am I still in the safe zone? Good. Go back to doing the dishes. Or go back to helping out the kids with the homework. So, this is a tactic. This is definitely a tactic. <laughs> I don't know if this is the tutorial that you were coming here to view. And I hope you've been enjoyed so far. I, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, how far along are we? We are 23 minutes. So we got plenty of time. Uh, the other thing, okay, um, ROI, return on investment, okay? Are you going to invest this much time into each game? I don't know. If you are able to make up to five eliminations per round and you last at least until the first storm moves and then you get eliminated, you might be better off doing the eliminations. But if you, like me, are not that good at combat, then you could play for over an hour, getting no eliminations and less than 75 points per round. That is very, very discouraging. Now, this does, also, this does apply... This does apply for squads, and it does apply for duos, and it does apply for specials as well. Hiding, surviving, living as long as you can is the better tactic. It is going to give you more experience points. It is going to give you... Um, it, it does not give you better statistics. In fact, if you go look at, like, the... the what is it? FortniteScoreboard.com or something. I don't remember what it's called. But if you go look at that and you look at my name, I've got, like, the worst KDR, which is kill-death ratio. And mine is, like... 0 0.014 or something like that. So every time I die, I get 0 0.014 kills. <laughs> uh, 
Hmm. But that's neither here nor there. Again, this is like the only reason this is qualifying as family friendly as well is because it's not it's not kills. It's it's eliminations. Um, it does glorify guns, which I mean I'm not for against that either. But we are here. We are playing. And this is this is actually for a little bit older audiences. Thirteen plus I'd say. But it's okay. You're here. I don't hear anybody, by the way. Storm's moving. Five seconds. Okay, we're still in the safe zone. We're in the safe zone! We could sing the safety safety dance. That's the safety dance. Also, have you noticed, like, the, uh... Right there, in between the, the thing... Uh, I don't have any way of showing it to you. Well, that doesn't work either. Um, okay, in between the, the <laughs> point at the screen like you can see it, in between the orange tree down there in the pine, there's a little set of flowers. I've seen these all over the place, and it's a flower set, it's like a, a little grouping of flowers that look like smiley faces. I've seen this more than one time, and I've seen it in multiple different places. I don't know if it's by accident or what, but I think a programmer may have done that. Stuck it in a, as like, oh, the, yeah, they're randomly generated. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. There it is again. In fact, it's like right behind us. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to run over here and show this to you. Smiley face. <laughs> All right, let's go hide. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, frowny face. I don't think that one's that one's not the pattern. I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed that. We're up to the 25 percentile, or the 25th mark. So, 75% um, of the server is gone. 75% is eliminated. 75 people are gone. Guess what? That's a tier that we just we just got placement at top 25. That is good. <clears throat> and what did we do? Nothing. <laughs> oh. By the way, if you plan on streaming, this is not <laughs> what you would stream. <laughs> you would stream the build battles and the, the eliminations and the tactics and all that. Now we could try and attract somebody over here just by taking a shot. Like that. No? Nobody? Any takers? Oh, here comes somebody. It's like a call to the wild. Oh, they're building up. They're like, I heard something over here. Somebody's here. I can tell. Oh, oh. By the way, don't shoot at people. This is not what you should be doing. Are they up there? Where are they? I lost them. I lost them. <gasps> there they are. Hello! Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh so the storm's gonna be going that way. By the way, if you can get to a balloon safely, I do recommend you go for it. Okay, because everybody's going to be bringing the gear to us. I know a lot of people are like, well, Code, you need to go get gear. Well, no, I don't. Um, what I need to do is stay hidden, and then I'm going to watch, and eventually somebody is going to get in a battle near me. And those people that are coming towards us are already people that have eliminated somebody else. So they're going to have good gear. So when they start to fight, they're going to drop gear. Now, we might not get ammo, and we might not get build materials, but we will have a lot more items than if we had gone ourselves and been eliminated anyway. Storm of the Eye shrinks in one minute and 56 seconds. But we're still safe. So I'm going to stay. We're going to stay here as long as we can. Oh, goodness. 
That was a sniper. Where's the sniper at? Like I said, just hanging out. You want those experience points. You're not going for the eliminations. Ooh, somebody's got the heavy over there somewhere. I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing them. Is that a fence post or is what is that standing out front there? That's a fence post, okay. I was looking right over that direction. There. Yeah. Just in front of the uh the bridge, toll bridge thingy. I'm sad that I can't like point at things. Oh, oh, somebody else is fighting. They're fighting up there. Trying to see if we can hit them with a AR. No, code, no, no. Tactic. You do not want to fight. This is true. Oh, somebody got eliminated with a trap. Somebody else with a light machine gun. We are just hanging out. Now, if you look, sh that, that person, I was about to say sheep, but that person is in the safe zone. If we look at our map, we can tell that the, um, the direction I'm facing. There's the river down there. That's the mountain she's on. He's on. They're on. And they are shooting at somebody right behind us. Hello, person. Now we do have boogie box, and that would kind of be hilarious. But I have a feeling that person's going to get eliminated anyway. Oh, yep, somebody came up from behind him. Now cover is good. Cover makes sure that you don't get hit by the bullet. It's also like increasing your shield. It's instant shield, as long as you can build really well. <laughs> now that person is low on energy and this would be an opportune time for me to go over there throw a boogie bomb and shoot him up I'm not going to you know why like I said, I'm gonna wait <sighs> Because that's not my tactic. Ooh, nice. Another build battle. And they're still getting shot at from the sniper over here. And every single one of them is clueless as to me being here. Here comes our gear. Oh, we're still in the safe zone. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So that might be just outside the safety zone, but we can absolutely run over there and grab some here in just a little bit. That person's gonna have to move. Most likely with a jump pad or some other form of fast transport. Oh, there was somebody else just up there. Uh, or that might've been the same person. Eight people are left. So we've reached the top ten. I'm going to get some experience points. I'm going to level up. Well, maybe not this time leveling up, but... Okay, that person just jumped away. Is that person still watching? I don't know. We're going to run. We're going to run. Then we're going to hide. Get some bullets. Awesome. Awesome. And why not? While we're at it. Let's jump back down. Now, there was something up. Okay. Let's see if I can. Get that was a horrible build code. Alright, let's go this direction. Up here. Hello. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's think tactically. Let's take that. That is a suppress. Nice. And take those. Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh goodness. Give me that. There's only one left. We're down to five people, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. We are outside the zone. Oh. Big jump, big jump. Gonna jump down. Gonna jump right back to where I was just a second ago. Alright, let's sneak. Oh no, no, that person saw me. Please don't see me again. Please don't, please don't. I'm gonna run. Nope. Nope. I don't have my... <laughs> oh, come on. I probably should have... Oh! I probably should have picked up a shotgun. But, guess what? We came in fourth place. <laughs> View match statistics. I came in fourth out of 97 people. Total experience points of 744. I didn't have to fight, I didn't have to battle, I didn't have to build. I just sat, and I waited, and I concealed myself. I'm telling you, if you want to get experience points, and you don't have the time to play Fortnite every single day, this is how you do it. <sighs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Fortnite Tutorial with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Um, next season's starting today, so get out there, get your battle pass. I know I'm going to go buy mine, and I got it for free, because I, I made sure I followed these tactics. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I don't know if I said that. Outro.